to the next topic I want to look at related to statistics is probability and probability is just how likely something is to happen the likelihood of an event occurring and I have different words for probability chance odds those are some of the terms you might use for probability and it is related by this formula so the main thing to keep in mind about probability is that the value for probability will always run from 0 to 1 and usually it will be between 0 and 1 0 means you're sure something not going to happen 1 means you're sure it will happen so that's why sometimes they would represent it as a percentage 0% up to the whole which is 100% and everything in between will be a number out of 100 or a fraction right so you're expecting the answer to be a fraction for probability so the probability of something can be 2 or 5 or 10 or 100 it would fall between 0 and 1 and it follows this formula here and even when they're doing stuff like a weather forecast that's what they're really doing they're predicting or they're saying how likely it is for it to have precipitation or rainfall like 80 percent chance is a high probability of rain going to fall a 20 percent chance mean it mightn't fall it's less likely to fall but they use it for other stuff not just for gambling which is what it usually comes off as. So before we even look at that, you realize the formula is number of likely events over total number of possible events could be kind of confusing, but I want to look at two examples before we go to the example I have here. So let me look at our old fashioned 50 cent coin. And if I wanted to flip this coin, if we call the front or the top side heads and the back tails, the possibilities that it have the total number of possible events a coin could only give two possible events it's either going to give a head or a tail so in that case with a coin it always one coin that is it always be out of two and if i wanted a head it have a one one heads on the coin if i wanted a tail it have one tail on the coin so that's why flipping a coin is either or basically both of the a chance again a heads on one flip is a half or one out of two you realize is a fraction chance again a tail so you have one tail still one out of two and the next example we're gonna look at the die now again you will see me saying die and write die here that's not a typo technically dice is plural meaning more than one die is one but don't study with the semantics there die so die we have one available for this question so you'll see this term a lot fair and random meaning we didn't try anything in advance it's supposed to be fair we didn't load the dice it's not anything special it's just a regular die which we'll come back to another while and i want to know what's the probability of rolling different situations on this die so first thing i need to know is what this bottom, bottom number going to be in my formula because that's the formula i have here probability is how likely it is sorry the number of possible events from this die so in a die we is a cube we have six faces and each of the identical faces have a number on it and the numbers that we have on the die are the numbers from one to six one two three four five six a standard plain die i take this from a trend by the way for we little snakes and ladders and ludo right so it has six outcomes every time i roll a die one of those outcomes have to come up just like with the coin when i toss a coin one of those two outcomes have to come up so in a die one flip because if you start flipping more than once it'll change a little bit but we're just looking at if i roll it once or if i flip the coin once so let me forget about the coin for now we're back to the die it's going to be six because it has six possibilities to come up from that die so when a fair die is rolled was probably a rolling a six so how much sixes they have on a die they only have one six so the probability of me getting a six when i roll is a one in six chance because you only have one six out of the six numbers and i didn't get a six lock a little off there same thing for a three how much threes they have on the die they only have one three on the die so the probability of me getting a three is also one over six so if i roll a die once each of these once it's a fair die have the same probability one six one six one six one six one six one six of coming up right but then i could change the question what if i want to roll an even number now what are the even numbers on the die again it's still going to be out of six because it has six numbers to choose from but what are my even numbers on the die so the even numbers are two four and six so they have three even numbers on the die so again i can't just put three because the probability always falls between zero and one so it's really going to be three numbers 
and since we're dealing with fractions this could actually break down to a half or in other words half the dice even and half the dice odd which makes sense when I roll the die it's either going to come up even or odd because half even half odd and again a lot of times with these questions is how they phrase what they're asking for it could be something straightforward or they could phrase it here was that even number here's a number greater than four what does greater than four means if I want to roll a die once what am I what's the probability of me getting a number greater than four so you have to keep in mind again I rolling it once they have six numbers to choose from so it's going to be out of six and if I roll in it once, what are the numbers greater than 4? So you have to be careful. What does greater than 4 mean? Now this didn't say greater than or equal to 4. Yeah? So if that say greater than or equal to 4, we'll include the 4. But it just say greater than 4. So we're looking at numbers above 4. We're not including 4. That's where the English part of the understanding comes in. So what numbers on a dice greater than 4? 5 and 6. So that means we have two numbers greater than 4. So there's a 2 in 6 chance of me rolling a number greater than four in other words a five or a six and again this get break down if i wanted to one third so it have different situations you could look at it also has if you was playing a different kind of game so let me say if you had a pack of cards for who knows about a pack of cards they have 52 cards broken up into four suits so if i was going to pick a card from a pack of cards the bottom number going to be out of 52 because that's what they're pulling from. Similarly here, a lot of the times you'll make up examples for the CXC questions or questions in general, right? Because sometimes, depending on your religion, you mightn't play with a, a deck of cards. Or children nowadays don't really play with cards. They mightn't play board games as much. So they mightn't be as familiar. So they'll make up questions. So like this one, they have some items in a bag, blue beads, sorry, different color beads. So the bag have two red beads, four yellow beads, and six blue beads. What is the probability of drawing? And I have different color beads here. So the first thing I need to know, I pull in from a bag containing beads. So how much beads in the bag? Because that's what I pull in from, the beads in the bag. So two add four, add six. So the bag has 12 items in it. Two red, four yellow, and six blue. So that means automatically, I pull in from one of those 12 if I just pull not one item and if I want to pull a yellow bead how much yellow beads they have in the bag so there are four yellow beads in the bag so the chance of me getting a yellow bead from that bag of 12 beads will be a 4 in 12 chance and if I want I could break it down 4 in 12 both of them have a 4 in common breaking down to a 2 same idea here what you think you're gonna get with blue beads if I want to pull a blue bead from the bag so again they have 12 items in the bag and I wanted to pull a blue bead from this bag. How much blue beads they have in the bag? In other words, total number of possible events. They have 12 possibilities to pull from. A number likely for blue, it have six blue to pull from. So you realize again, my fraction again, which is what I was telling you, you'll always get a fraction. So six out of 12. So in other words, half the bag blue. So I have the highest chance of pulling a blue from that bag. Similarly with a red bead, have 12 beads in the bag how much red beads they have they have two red beads so two out of 12 gonna be one six and that covering all from the bag what if i want to pull a green bead from the bag though how much green beads they have in the bag so again they have 12 items in the bag out of those 12 items in the bag how much green they have no green in the bag so i just want to show you sometimes the probability could be zero i cannot pull a green bead from the bag because there are no green beads in the bag. So the probability of me pulling a green bead is going to be zero. But you can see the probability of the others as well. And again, same thing with a raffle. So that's why sometimes people might want to know the odds in the raffle. If 10,000 people take chances in the raffle, there are 10,000 slots and all fill up. And you only have one chance. So there's a 1 in 10,000 chance that you could win that first prize. And similarly, stuff could extend to like the lotto and how much different combinations and numbers it have for the lotto. And you'll do that kind of stuff more in AdMats to work out the probabilities. But this is usually as far as probabilities go. And we'll see some other variations in this when we're looking at some past paper questions later on.